Now let's see if you really know what parched means, okay? Okay. Why is parched land a worry for farmers? Why would parched land be a worry for a farmer? Isaac? Parched land would be worried for a farmer because if the land is parched, how can the plants get any water? Right. And plants need plenty of water to grow, right? Yes, yes Alexi? And so that how can they send it to the groceries? Excuse me? How can they how can they send their food to like markets and groceries? That's right. So they won't make money if their land is parched and we won't have delicious fruit and vegetables to eat either. Very good. Okay, um, what about a frog that lives in a creek? Do you think a frog that lives in a creek is parched? Dillinger? Well, because he has lots of um, water in the creek. Excellent. That's right. As long as the creek has water, the frog is fine. What about a lily pad in a, in a lake? Do you think a lily pad in a lake is a good example of parched? Um, Joanna, do you? Yes. You think a lily pad in a lake is a good example of parched? Why? Because it has a lot of water. So then it would be a non-example of parched, right? Right. <laughs> That's okay. Well, that's what we're learning together. All right, what do you think a cornfield might do to a cornfield that's in a drought? Would it be parched or not parched? Miguel? Parched. Very good, excellent. All right, why should you avoid feeling parched when you're going for a hike in the mountains? Why would being parched in the mountains on a hike be a bad idea? <clears throat> Daisy? Because it could be at peak hours that it could be really hot. Right, during peak hours it's really hot and you're out in the middle of nowhere with no water, you don't want to be parched, right? Good job. Who thinks they can give me an example? First an example of parched. Destiny? If you scream and your like, voice is parched and you don't have water. Very good. All right, and now I want you to just give me like one example of one non-example. I see some people are not having a really good idea of what a not example of parched is, so maybe we need to do another think, pair, share. So think, pair, share about a non example of parched. And thumb up and zip. Thumb up and zip. All right. Nayeli? A river is not parched. A river. Very good. Um, Carol? Sure, a sentence is fine. I drink some water from That's a great sentence. Good job. Michaela? The the ocean at the beach it's it's not parched? No, it's not. Very good. Kumar? A flood. A flood is the opposite of parched. Good. Sinai? Right, so is that parched or not parched? No. Not parched. And finally, Angela? When you put chapstick on, it's parched. Good, when you, when you put chapstick on, it makes your lips not parched. Excellent job.